Welcome to the Today's Leader Podcast. Building Tomorrow's Best Leaders, Today. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Keep it going. Good job, guys. All right, Paul. Let's see you. Finish, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Hey there, it's Coach Curl here and welcome to Monday Mentoring on the Today's Leader podcast, Building Tomorrow's Best Leaders Today. Now, often we're faced with challenging situations. It could be in our workplace, it could be our mindset around what's going on in the world. And because of this, our emotions can often be like a jumbled mess. They're just gurgling away inside. Maybe you felt that. I've got no doubt that you have. And in these times, we know the environment is having an impact on us. It's having an impact on our mindset. It's having an impact on our emotions and our feelings. We may have that sense of demotivation. We may feel demoralized. We may feel under threat in some particular way. We may be angry, frustrated, or even embarrassed. These are commonplace. The impact of the environment may be challenging us in a a way that we're finding it really hard to maintain our forward momentum and our positive growth and our positive self-image. Now, let me just say this is normal. So this is normal. It's it's part of the human process that we follow. And it can be cha- caused by changes in our, um, our environment. So whether it's the larger world or whether it's a, the smaller environment of our workplace, it's a normal and a constant that's going to be happening to us. And what makes this more challenging is often we're in a position where we have to make a decision during this. So this will often not be avoidable. So we're in a challenging environment of work and we're being asked to make a decision. Now, often in the most challenging of environments, we have to make the best decision. So whether that's the best decision for ourselves or our team or the business overall, we're often asked to make that decision in our most challenging of environments. And at times, we just have to simply put away our own personal thoughts and feelings and try and make the best decision that's possible. So whether that's the best decision for the outcome that I want or that you want, or whether it's the best decision for our business. Often, we've got to put away our personal thoughts and make a decision that's best for the business or that's the best for the commitment of the organization, for example. So a wise man once told me emotion kills business. And while he turned out to be a bit of a scammer, his mantra does ring somewhat true. Oh, however, would add to it. Emotion kills business if you allow it to. So you actually want to embrace some emotions that we face in our business or our leadership journeys. Emotions that drive motivation, alignment and growth are so important for business. But the emotions that fuel negativity, frustration, toxicity are probably ones that you need to be aware of. You need to understand where they're coming from and you need to put them in the context of what it is that you're accountable for in relation to your role or what the business is trying to achieve. You should always be looking to make a decision in these environments based on the desired outcomes that are needed. So whether that's a personal need or whether that's a business need. And sometimes that's really hard because we're personally invested. We're personally putting energy into our own emotions, our own feelings, and trying to control our inner turmoil and try and get clarity around the way that we go forward. There's just so much going on often in these situations. So the first and the best piece of advice that I can ever give a leader facing this is that you simply have to pause. You simply have to pause and consider, take time to consider what you need to be doing to make the best possible decision. Now, there are going to be times where you can't override your personal 
um, your personal emotions. It could be a clash with your values. It could be a cultural clash. And you need to make then the decision that's best for you. If you're not in the right environment for you to thrive based on that, that's a decision that you need to make. But you need to make it with clarity and a clear conscience. And you're only ever going to get that by pausing and consider. We simply have to allow our cooler heads to prevail, which is so much easier said than done, isn't it? It may be the last thing that you actually feel like doing but it's always going to be the best thing that you need to do. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I will see you all again next week. Bye for now.